Hi guys, welcome to Rodha. My name is Ravi Prakash, and I welcome you all to another session on Quant. That is statistics for cat and cat. Okay. So statistics for cat and cat is very important, right? And before coming to that, I hope all of you are in be your best of mental phase right now. Cat is just uh, 18 days away, exactly from today, right? So in this 18 days, just think of all the positive things. Think of all the good things around around you. Visit some colleges, uh, IIMs or uh, some top 20 college website. Which you are targeting, okay. Be in best frame of mind, okay. So guys, see, you have developed a lot of talent and will be developing in next eighteen days also. So that basically content means talent here, right? If you try to compare it from cricket, so you are very, you are very, you have got a good content knowledge. That means you are very talented now. But you are very talented, but being Virat Kohli doesn't guarantee your century, right? Obviously, yeah, na. If you have good knowledge, you have to perform also in that match, right? Same way. You have a good knowledge. You have a good talent. Ah, uh, you have studied a lot of things. You have to perform on that D day also, right? So for that, same like a cricketer needs to be in best of mental phase before a match. Same like you people should be in best of mental phase before cat. Think of all the good things around. Be positive. Study a lot. Solve questions. But yeah, all should be in good frame of mind. Okay, that basically be more mentally prepared now. Think of those situations which can come in exams. Pattern is not disclosed, right? So those things are quite important. Ah, uh, once we are starting this preparation for CAT and ZAT, okay. Ah, uh, once we are ah uh, giving any exam of like ah uh, of CAT and ZAT standard, okay. Okay, so in this session actually we we'll start with the statistics, right? But again for people who are giving NMAT guys, okay. So again this is a NMAT mock. So last time many people told me that ah uh, NMAT mock we should do continuously, and we are yes we are doing it actually. So with the last NMAT, this is now NMAT on our uh, twelfth November. That is at ten AM. Okay. So give this NMAT mock. This is free for everyone. Okay. And this actually this registration, uh, this uh, en enrollment link actually I'll put in the comment. Okay. I'll pin in the comment. Okay. That enrollment link. Yeah. So don't miss out this. So even all of you giving NMAT is a very good, a very good exam. You know. Uh, and it has got around. Uh, I think two hours exam with one zero eight questions. More of a speed based exam, so it's very important to give mocks and with what what better than actual NMAT mocks, right? And we have got same analysis analysis also. So we'll get all the information in the mobile only once you click on this enrollment link and once you register, right? So after that, after all that message, you'll get another link. LR at one pm, quant at three pm, and language at five eight thirty pm. Okay. This is the analysis for this NMAT mock, which we'll be giving on twelfth number ten AM. Okay, and many people told me about this uh, IFT and all. So okay, I'll be telling you guys. Okay, I'll be informing every day. Ah, uh, once we're planning to put IFT mocks or IFT mocks also. Okay, we'll be doing it. Okay, fine. Now let's ah uh, start at and that right. So statistics is a topic which is quite important in this ah uh, cat or that ah uh, cat and that exam basically. Okay. So they'll ask questions on statistics, but ah uh, we have seen ah uh, sets on mock and on previous year set on twenty fourteen in CAT twenty fourteen also that was on bit of um mid mean median mode right so basically ah uh, they are ah uh, if you want to study actually this topic right statistics so let's go about ah uh, what questions can be asked in the exam from the statistics right so basically ah uh, which the questions which we got till now basically are arithmetic mean geometric mean are quite normal okay. Or mean, median, mode, mode are quite normal, right? But basically, they are the measures of this so-called central tendency. Okay, this there is a way to measure data that is called central tendency, right? So that measures of central tendency and central dispersion. This is what you need to study for CAT and ZAT. So out of that, three four ah uh, measures of questions with three four measures has come like mean, median, mode, AM, GM, HM, right? So there could be a question on some other parts also. Okay, so then we will discuss in this. Continuous part of statistics. Okay, now, so basically, uh, there's a there's a way to measure the higher higher data actually, right? Okay, in higher mathematics, there's a way to measure way to measure data, and it is actually called measures of central tendency. Okay, so measures of central tendency. Okay, so basically, in this measures of central tendency, ah, uh, we'll have ah. Uh, Yeah, so there are actually five such measures. We know the first one is basically AM, that is arithmetic mean. Then second one is their GM, that is geometric mean.
and third uh, sorry third one is hm that is harmonic mean fourth one is median and fifth one is mode is median and fifth one is mode So basically, right? So this is basically our mean, median, and mode, right? So what is AM? We know. Okay. So let's have this introduction, guys. What is AM? So AM we know is simple average, right? What is AM? AM is simply average, simple average, right? For uh, for example, for two numbers, AM, A, what is their average? A and B. That is A plus B by two. For three numbers, it would be A plus B plus C by three, like that, right? So basically, if if you go in detail, uh, topic wise, right, one by one. So the basically the first point is let's say AM. Okay, let's discuss it. Okay, so AM, GM, and HM. These are the three points actually. So what is AM, GM, and HM? Right. So AM is I told you simple average, right? For any two numbers A, B, their AM is basically what? Okay, let me discuss this. Eh? Okay. So for any two numbers A, B, what is their AM? That is A plus B by two. What is their aim? Aim is simple average a plus b by two, right? So basically, the thing to know, thing to notice here is that aim, gm, and hm are only applicable for positive real numbers. Positive real numbers, right? And in our algebra practice session, we have done few questions also on aim, gm, hm. Okay. What is gm, guys? So basically, there are two numbers a, a, and b. The gm is what root ab. That is ab power one by two. Okay. And for three numbers, uh, sorry, for two numbers ab, what is their hm? So H M is basically two upon one by A plus one by B, right? That is equal to two A B upon A plus B. So actually, what is H M here? So H M is the harmonic mean, or it is the inverse of arithmetic mean, right? So it's, what what does actually means? It means that let's say A B C are in A P. So if A B C are in sorry H P. So if A B C are in H P, that is harmonic progression, right? It means that one by A, one by B, and one by C are in A P. Okay, so if one by a, one by b, one by c, and c are c are in a p, what is the arithmetic mean? So arithmetic mean is what? One by b is equal to one by a plus one by c divided by two. Correct. So uh, now what is the geometric mean? Sorry, so what is the harmonic mean now? So again, how is the harmonic mean? Reverse of this m. That is b is equal to what? Two upon one by a plus one by a c. That's what written here. Okay, two upon one by a plus one by b. So again, just remember, remember this. Remember in this form actually fine, okay. Now if you move further on, okay. So for any three numbers here, A B C, their A M is A plus B plus C by three. Their G M is cube root of A B C that is A B C power one by three, and their H M is uh, four uh, sorry three upon one by A. Plus one by b plus one by c. Similarly, for four numbers a, b, c, d, it will go along, right? What is their aim? Aim is a plus b plus c plus d upon four. What is their gm? A, b, c, d raised to one by four. What is their hm? Four upon one by a plus one by b plus one by c plus one by d. Okay. So it's also true that for all the uh, this positive real numbers, right? For all the positive real numbers, their arithmetic mean. For all the positive real numbers, their arithmetic mean is always greater than or equal to the geometric mean, and geometric mean is always greater than or equal to the harmonic mean. Okay, so this AM, GM, HM, fine. So basically, uh, this equality will hold. You can write here like equality. So equality holds only when numbers are equal. Only when numbers are equal, right? For example, for example, if you see here, like what is their AM? Okay, so if you see here, what is their uh, like uh, uh, for two numbers, like two, two and two are two, three numbers, right? What is their AM? Their AM is their average. Two plus two plus two by three is two. What is their what is their GM? Two into two into two give root again two. What is their HM? Again two, right? So again two into two only HM also, right? That's the meaning of AM, GM, and HM here. Okay. Now, so once you we'll see all the introduction, then we'll see the uh, questions on it. Okay. Then the fourth thing here is the median. Okay. So fourth thing here is the median. 
Now what is median here? Right, so basically median is median that is always whenever you arrange the data in ascending or descending order. Okay, so whenever you arrange the data in ascending or descending order. So median is always the middle term here. Median is always the middle term here. Okay. So whenever you arrange the uh, data in ascending, also basically data should be in ascending or descending order. Data should be in ascending or descending order, right? So once you once you can do this actually. So after that you just just, just see middle term. Yeah, maybe there are even number of terms, right? So obviously the question will come to your mind. What if there are even number of terms? For example, let's say my, what is the median like three, seven, twelve, sixteen, twenty-two. Okay. So what is the median? So there are five terms here. So quite simple. The median is 12. So median here is 12. Fine. Now, once we have, uh, let's say once we have more terms here, right? Let's say the terms are like 4, 5, 9, 11, 14, okay, and 15. Now what is the median? So actually what you should do in this case, or even the larger number of terms, right? So basically you can just see that there are even number of terms here. So once there are six terms here, so you can just think of like this, that what is the middle term? Middle term is first term plus last term by 2. So just think like this, that middle term is 1 plus 6 by 2. That is uh, 3.5. Okay, 3.5 means you need to take the average of third and fourth term. Average of third and fourth term. Right, that is, so what is third term here? 9. So what is fourth term here? 11. So what is the median? That is 9 plus 11 by 2. That is equal to 10. Okay, so even if the numbers are quite quite big right or maybe so there are more terms made there are more terms in a set actually so okay so in that term you can simply think in mind what is the middle term uh, what is the middle term what is the average right for example take an example let me take an example here uh let's say put an example like 3 6 9 12 and it goes on till let's say 90 okay so again in this basically 3 to 90 what is the median i want to calculate so you can just think of right basically there are 30 terms here so once there are 30 terms here, so 3 to 90 there are 30 terms, right? So in these 30 terms actually, the first term here, right? So first term is 3 and last term is 90, okay? So once there are 30 terms here, so first term is 3, then last term is 90. So you can just think what is the middle term actually? So you can just do it mentally also if you want to do term voice. So there are 30 terms here, what is the let's say 1 plus 30 by 2? That means 15.5, so because it is AP, you can anyhow do it, right? But when the series is not in AP, so you can think like this: that there are fifteen point five. Okay, the terms. So fifteen point five means you need the average of t fifteen and t sixteen. So what is the average of t fifteen and t sixteen? So t fifteen here should be forty five, and t sixteen should be forty eight. Three into fifteen, three into sixteen. That is forty five plus forty eight by two. That is equal to what? Forty six point five. So forty six point five is the median for this number, right? And anyway, since it's an AP. So we know that in any AP, average is a middle term. So in any AP, average is simply the middle term. What is middle term? Middle term is first term plus last term by 2. For any AP only, right? That is 3 plus 90 by 2. That is 46.5. Okay. So that's the median, okay? Now, fifth one, guys. Fifth one really mode here. Okay? So this is the fifth measure of central tendency. That is mode. What is mode here? So basically mode is what? Mode is the, uh, dis, uh, in any data, in any set of data, right? What is the highest frequency, uh, basically we can use, highest frequency term occurring, okay? It can be more than one also, right? It can be, it can be more than one. It can be more than one, right? For example, if I take up here, uh, let's say uh, we have a series here, like, like for example, okay? Mm, we have series like 2, 1, 4, 2, 6, 4, 3, 2, 8, 2, or uh, 2, 1, 4, 6, 7. So what is the mode here? You can see that. What is the highest frequency number, right? So like 2, 1, 2, 3, and for 2 is occurring 4 times, right? That means 2 is the mode. Okay. So which is occurring maximum number of times. Highest frequency means occurring maximum number of times here. Okay. So that should be occurring maximum number of times. That is mode. Yeah. Okay, fine. Next one. 
is 2 1 4 here 2 6 is it goes like this right okay now if i see if i can put like this let's say 2 2 7 9 8 again 2 then 9 then 7 then 6 then 7 right so it is a mode here in this case so you can see here that 2 is occur occurring 3 times and 7 also occurring 3 times that means mode will be basically 2 and 7 both are mode okay that's the meaning of mode actually okay so in so in this video right we saw the five measures of certain tendency so we'll see in the next data what is the uh, what next video what is the five measures of center dispersion okay so the, those, those those are basically uh just a minute yeah so those are basically range okay quartile deviation and mean deviation and the standard deviation and variance okay so that we'll see in the next video and then we can see questions in the further videos right okay so that's how we'll plan the statistics okay thank you for watching and keep on studying guys okay and that uh, nmat uh, mock link i will put in the uh, comment box you can just see from there okay where, where is the uh, this nmat on 12th number 10 pm 10 am okay surely give it and is the analysis done by various faculties in, in these timings okay so all those notifications notifications you will get once you click on that enrollment link and click enroll okay it is absolutely free for everyone okay so let's go to the next video keep on studying guys okay bye bye